Toby. How are you? Hi, Tony. Hi. Nice to have you here, Tony. Nice Looking to good, be here. boys. Yeah? You been out clubbing recently, doing anything? Um, no, I've been working too much, really, yeah. for that, yeah. It's that time of the year, isn't yeah. it? Buzz, buzz, Absolutely, buzz, buzz, yeah. buzz, buzz, Now, yeah. what about allergies? Have you got any food allergies, or did you used to as children? Um, when, when I was a nipper, I used to go uh, strawberry picking, and I used to eat too many. Yeah. And sometimes it used to give me a bit of a rash. Yeah. But I think I just ate, like, punnets and punnets and punnets, really. Yeah, I, I, I ate more than I picked, and to yeah. go and put it that way. It's true. I, I used to have um, one of my relatives, a neck used to swell up. Any time oh, she right. strawberries, so it's something that's obviously quite common. What about you, well, Tom? I, I had a few kind of at school, you know, I was allergic to biology yeah. and sociology. All those oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Where does he get them from, eh? I don't Where know, does he just... get them from? Well, I've got an allergy to cucumber. I don't know what it is. I know 90% of cucumbers actually water, but whatever it is, it just starts me off, gives me these bit of funny headaches, really. But uh, we do have a lady on the programme today who's got an allergy to orange. Let's find out more as you welcome from Lancashire, Jacqueline Dunworth. Welcome to the show. Thank Come you. and meet. Please meet Jacqueline. Thank you. Thank you. Orange allergy. What type of orange allergy then, Jackie? Just anything that's got oranges in, little, even fruit pastels. I'm just sick. Yeah? Yeah. I just discovered it when I was little, and I'm not going to risk it now. Oh, thinking wow. and, and you're someone it. that's associated with food, aren't you? Because what, what, what's your actual job? I'm a teaching assistant at a school in Bakeup, mm -hmm. and I work with the seven to eleven year olds. And I usually take out children that need just that little bit of extra help. Mm -hmm. And I either work with them in a classroom, or I take them out for extra literacy and numeracy. Yeah. Have they ever naughty? Did they ever bring you orange pastels and leave them on your table? No, <laughs> I haven't told them that one. You haven't told them that one. They all know <laughs> now, though, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. You know don't, now. They? Yeah. don't you pick on me? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, give that a good old shake. There we oh. are, my dog. Oh, now, tell us what you've bought along here, then, Jack. Uh, well, I've got a sweet potato, some cheese, some broccoli, a tin of tomatoes, an onion and some... Minced turkey. Minced turkey. And how much did you spend? Five pounds, two p. There, we're not going to complain about the two p. Chef, what do you think? Is it orange in there? It looks orange. It, it looks it orange. Looks orange, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh yes. dear. So you want him to do something special yes, to try and because, win you over? Yeah, because uh, at school in the cooking club we run. We make ch sweet potato and cheese little pies for, mm. the ch for the children make them, and I thought you could have to make something just a bit different. Sure, yeah, great. And broccoli I hate, yeah. but everybody keeps telling me it's good for you, and my friend said it stops you getting senile, so... Well, there you, you go. You can make me eat that. But she can't remember telling you that, no, can exactly. she? <laughs> <laughs> Short-term memory. Happy chef. Yeah, no, good bag. We, we come up with something. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. Okay, glad to meet a friend, someone you work yeah. with, also from Lancashire, ladies and gentlemen, Lynn Stocks. <laughs> Hello, Lynn. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Great. Come and meet Hi. Lynn. How are you, oh, chef? Fine, thank here? you. OK, so you, have you any food allergies that you can No, remember? none whatsoever. None? No, I can eat anything. Can you really? Yeah. Well, let's have a look in your bag <laughs> then, darling. You can eat anything at all, so it's going to be interesting to see what you brought along. Is that gammon steaks there? Yes, gammon okay. steaks. OK. Pineapple, red pepper, mm -hmm. onions and cashew nuts. I brought along the gammon steaks today because I just cook it plain at home and mm. just something interesting would be really nice. Mm. And I absolutely love cashew nuts, but other than that, I don't know what to do with them. You just put them in a bowl and nibble yeah, them. Nibble them. Well, yeah, nibble them. Or the chef can spice oh, yeah. them up. You can do all sorts of things. You're happy with that, Tony? Very happy with that, yeah. Yeah? How yeah. much did you spend, my darling? Five pounds and five pence. Yeah, OK. Just a, a few p over. Mm -hmm. And uh, you also work with Jackie. Yes, hey. I work in the infant department. Uh -huh. And uh, it's very re rewarding. Yeah. And it's just so much fun. Great, great. We'll yeah, talk all it. about that later. Okay, they do fantastic you. things. They even have after-school activity, ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen. More on that in just a moment. I'll come back and see okay, you, Tony. Lindsay. OK, let's find out what James is going to be cooking for Jackie, then, eh? Right. Well, we've oh, got, some, got some great lean turkey here. So a couple yeah. of ideas, actually, you can use with the kids. So we're going to do some little turkey burgers, but with cheese inside them. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Then we're going to do some turkey mm -hmm. meatballs, but in a tomato and basil sauce, mm -hmm. and serve that mm -hmm. with what we call a sweet potato fondant. Mm -hmm. All shall be explained when I cook it. Also, we're going to do some curried sweet potato crisps, mm. some tempura broccoli, um, some cheese scones, and um, I think that's enough, really. I think that's more than wow. enough. Yeah. Does that sound good? Sounds really 20 good. 20 minutes, you think you can do that in 20 minutes? Oh, I think so. Yeah, oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> she has every faith in you. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, give him a cuddle, love. <laughs> oh, oh, look. <laughs> Soppy, they soppy, yeah, eh? They what are they, soppy. They're trying to win votes, yeah, isn't they? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, shut up, yeah. <laughs> OK, Lynn, what do you got for her, Tone? Um, we're going to take one of them cut in half and breadcrumb it. Mm. 
uh, and the other one we'll we'll char grill with some honey and mustard. Mm -hmm. We'll make um, like a chutney with some of the pineapple and some of the pepper. With the breadcrumb on, we'll we'll stir fry some of the other pepper with the spring onions. Uh, we'll make some pesto with the cashew nuts and some basil to go with one, and we'll make some egg fried rice, and we'll do some rice pudding with some pineapple as well. Well, la Put, put that in your delicious. pipe and smoke it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Sound good. Excellent. OK, yeah. well, both our teachers are absolutely delighted, ladies and gentlemen. But how will our chefs cope? In 20 minutes, we'll be able to find out when I say, ready, steady, cook. OK, up and running, we've got uh, lovely burgers. No ordinary burgers here. We are using the lovely lean minced turkey here. And the chef's going to put some cheese inside. We're also going to have some lovely meatballs accompanied by a nice rich tomato sauce. Cheese. Cheese is going to be combined with all sorts of things here. We've got the old sweet potato over there, which is going to come in the form of the... I bet you're going to cook that down a little bit of a, like a, uh, what did you refer a to? A fondant. A fondant. Fondant. That means it's going to soak up all that lovely stock. And then we've also got some nice spicy sweet potato crisp over here, ladies and gentlemen. One's going to be pané, that's for the gammon. The other one's going to have a little bit of a, kind of a honey uh, dressing on it, and that's all going to be char-grilled off later. One's going to be deep-fried. We're going to have a little bit of a dressing with the pineapple and the peppers. We're going to have a rice pudding with the pineapple. We're also going to have egg fry rice with cashew nuts and spring onions. Big chunky bits of bread, all sorts of things, and it's all coming your way in the next 20 minutes. What? About uh, 10 different types of uh, recipes there. Hope it helps you later on when you're starting to cook for the family. Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's get to this. Scones, first thing. What are you going to start off with, Chef? Scones. Scones. Yeah, or scones. Okay, okay. Scones, scones. What do you say then? Scones. Scones. Yeah. Ah, lad. Yeah, All we right, made scones. scones at school. And you always use self-raising flour. For yeah, that, I'm going to use it for a bit of lift on these ones. We're going to okay. put uh, some of the cheese for as well. First yeah. things first, I need to get this butter, mm -hmm. which we're going to put in with some flour. I'm going to use about 200 grams, because I only want a few, because it's like yeah. a little accompaniment. OK. Yeah? So about so much. All right, then. then. I'm going to dice the butter up. I'll get that out of the Eight way. ounces of your home thinking 200 grams. I can't get with this metric. I know what you mean. <laughs> there you go. OK, so dice up some butter. Again, mm -hmm. that's about 80 grams, I reckon. Yeah. A couple of ounces. Yeah. Right, that together. All right, um, I'm going to grab an egg and then we're going to use milk as well, and that makes it lovely, soft, and rich as well. Okay, and what type of, uh, you know, I think one of the things that people get a little bit confused about is the consistency, because you actually, most of the time, people take out scones and they, they cut them out after it's made up. Yeah. The actual mixture. Do you do that? Yeah, well, we'll bind this together first, yeah. make sure it's nice and light and not too heavy. Yeah. All right, so if you whack that on, you'll see it start to come together in a minute. Okay, put a salt in there, Chef. Yeah, definitely, a bit of rock salt. Yeah. Here we go, it's starting to go. Yeah, OK. Right. So you see how it's quite soft? Yeah. Like so. Right, I'm just going to add a tad more flour to that. Yeah. And you can play with it. Notice that the chef is, uh, you know, waiting until he gets the right consistency. It's Have your flour at hand. It's just the look just... of it all. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go, this is it. Now, this is what I'm going to need. You see how it's starting okay. to ball? Yeah. That's exactly where we want it. And you stop it, you don't overbeat no, that, No, not at all, not at all, mate. OK. Right, so, bit of cheese, grab mm -hmm. yourself a grater. Mm-hmm. Which is... Down here. Okay. This is uh, extra mature cheddar, I believe. Yeah. It is. Yes. Lovely. Is so this is going to be this is going to be nice and strong. Yeah. So I just get this. And do, you, do you get lots of uh, your well, Lancashire's got its own cheese, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it has Lancashire cheese. Yeah. yeah. And do you bit... mainly go for that, or do you like the foreign no, stuff? No, we, we tend to use this or uh, mozzarella. Yeah. Because it's good if you put it in like cheese and potato pies. Little ones like it because you can get it diced really tiny. Yeah. And they can pop it in and it bubbles, doesn't it? Oh, and it melts, you know. Lovely. Mmm. How do you feel it? Now, you said you've got an orange allergy. Obviously yeah. not for touching things, then. Oh, no, it's just to eat it. Yeah. You know. So you'd never eat something like that? Oh, no, I wouldn't dare. Yeah. You know, I mean, it just happened when I was little. Um, obviously, you find out that you're allergic to things, so... Mm. They said you might grow to it, but you're not going to try, are you, just in case you're, sure. you're ill? There are some things, as you get older, you actually yeah, enjoy you a lot more, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you do, yeah. yeah. So I, I wouldn't know what an orange tastes like. All oh, right. So, but the, things like uh, what, the, what what's changed? Things like Stilton cheese. Do you go for any of those things? Yeah, I like the ones with the fruit in, like yeah. when to deal with cranberries and Ooh, things like yes, that. Yes, I know what yeah. you do. That's like... a bit nice, isn't it? Yeah. Eh? Hey, look at those yeah. scones he's making you there, darling. So, eh? the there you yeah, go. There's the end good. of the scones. You can see what our chef's right, doing there. there. Okay, very very simple. You guys can try it at home. We're talking about here. You know, they run a little cook school after us. We're going to find out about in their own time, ladies and gentlemen. These girls give up the time to teach children how to cook. This is the ideal type of thing. You saw how easy our chef did it. Let's go to the Red no, Tomato Kitchen. Let's see how Chef Tony Tobin's getting on. Tony, tell us what's happening here then. OK, well, I've cut, uh, uh, I've cut one of the um, gammon steaks yeah. in half that way. Yeah. So we've now got two thin steaks over there, which we flour, egg and breadcrumb. OK. Um, I'm just going to make a little bit of chutney. OK. So I've got pepper, 
and pineapple going okay. in there with some vinegar. Lovely. Do you ever make your chutneys at home and stuff like that, or do you just... No. no. I buy them all. I know, it's so easy, though. You see, 15 <laughs> minutes to go, Rick. guys. There we are, a little bit of sugar, he's got pineapple. pineapple. Again, tin pineapple. So often people think, oh, it's got to be, you know, fresh, fresh pineapple. pineapple. By all means, use fresh pineapples. We never say don't use fresh. Fresh is best, but convenience, you know, sometimes you just have those things in there. And you just literally boil that down, Chef, do you? Yeah, just boil it down, it'll thicken up, and it'll take on some of the orange colour from the peppers, and it'll look really nice, sweet and sour we're going for. Though. OK, lovely, um, lovely, lovely. Do you want to just cut this? Mm. We're going to stir-fry this with right. some spring onions. I'll just put that on a... Yeah. Into a little plate here. So. You got a plate there, Chef? Do you want to put that on? Stick it in a bowl. We'll just yeah. press that down because we don't need to cook that until ne right near the end. It's not going to take very long at all. Okay. Shall I lose these for you? Lose all that. Okay, yeah. lovely. No. Mm. Mm. If you just lovely. So, what about this cooking that cup that you started at school then? How did that all begin? Like uh, we run it every Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, we have it from quarter past three till quarter past four. Yeah. And do you get a lot of the children wanting to attend or...? Yes. Uh, the boys absolutely love it. They take yeah. home the recipes from the cookbook yeah. and they actually make them at home. They absolutely love it. Fantastic. Really time. And so how many people, how many would you guys be cooking for so, for uh, that period? 20. 20, 20 children. 20, as many yeah. as that. Between that is five quite a lot six. of people for after school activities. Yeah, the first yeah. thing you want to do is get home and watch Ready, Steady, Cook. Well, exactly. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Tony, you've got a couple of uh, boys at home and a gorgeous girl too, but what about your boys? Interested in cooking? Yeah, they're, they're, all my kids are interested in cooking, obviously. Yeah. Um, we, we, we do things like we make bread. Mm. They love anything they can get their hands into, sure. making pastry and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and it just helps them out and it get, makes them feel comfortable in the kitchen. Exactly. It's not a kind of awkward place to, you know, to be in, you know no, what I mean? Not, no. Hey, we've changed it. OK, we've got chutney cooking down here. Chef, two different types of rice. What's right, going this on? This has got salted water in and we're yeah. going to fry that off with some eggs, some of the spring onions, some of the mm. pepper, uh, and just kind of spice that up. And nicely. we've always emphasised that it's worth having, you know, Rice, rice that's cooked has been in the fridge because that makes the best, doesn't it? It does, But yeah. we haven't got the time to do that. We're certainly going to show you how to do it. And what about this one then, Chef? That's just water at the moment. When it yeah. comes down, I'm going to finish it off with some vanilla and cream and, and some zest and stuff like that, spice it up. And we're going to caramelise some of the pineapple in a pan with some sugar mm. and serve that with some rice pudding. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Sound nice. Same She's same. already chopped up her peppers. peppers. Yep. The chef has made good. a very simple marinade, which is what, Chef? Which is um, some honey and grain mustard. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that pineapple juice in there. And why pineapple juice? Well, the pineapple juice, actually, that, that, that kind of breaks it down a it little starts, bit. It helps it, yeah. Okay. Tenderises it. That's all right. It's a really good tenderizer. And a lot of those juices, you find that happening too. Things like a papaya, the papaya seeds or something like that. If you grind those down, you have those black seeds inside. They're fantastic for really breaking up and breaking down the meat. Not totally, of course. Okay, let's go back to the green pepper kitchen. Mm -hmm. Chef, how's it going over here? Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. What we've done is, we've got the base of the fondant <coughs> on it. It sounds a little posh, but yeah. basically it's just a cooked potato mm -hmm. and we're cooking out we've got um, in here some water a bit yeah. of stock cube garlic yeah. and thyme and they're wonderful crucial oh, flavors that and go how together all oh, just a one or two cloves of garlic yeah then? it just basically infuses the liquid that you're yeah. cooking in that's the whole idea behind it okay and uh you just let it cook down and down and down and that'll create a nice little mm. glaze as well oh lovely are you waiting for a job there aren't you yeah, yeah. she's looking right. over she's thinking when i'm bored i might as well watch <laughs> right. you stalks of broccoli straight <laughs> into this onion please right, okay all right, okay. of that in there all right then and what have we got here chef this we've got onion cooking down with the tomatoes and yeah. I'm going to fill it out in a moment with a bit of white wine, right? Yeah. Actually, you can put a dollop in there and we're going to start poaching off our balls as well. OK, a dollop of what, white wine in there? No, or no, there? no, into the tomato. OK, John, grab a bit of white wine. A bit of garlic. And you want a glass of that yourself, love? Uh, no, I, I don't actually drink. You don't drink? I, no, but I'd have water. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of water there, darling. I've got everything there for you. Fine. OK. Ooh, lovely, wow. lovely stuff. What about this health eating at your school then, Jack? Is it really important or is it something that's become important? Because you well, it, it does become on... yeah, no, it wasn't there beginning. It does become important because we're yeah. health, supposed to be a healthy eating school. Yeah. So we try to introduce. Are you supposed things. to be? How, how do they calculate that then? How do they work out that you are a healthy eating school? Well, you, you, you have to go like they look at your school dinners and what, and what children are eating, mm. and like the government have introduced like what school dinners should be now. So we thought we'd go down the road of healthy eating with a cooking club. Sure, oh, fantastic. You know? So it's not all healthy eating, but like, mm. you know, we make, like, we do pigs in blankets, like sausage rolls. Yeah, yeah, you that's know? lovely. And we use the wholemeal flour. Sure. And we'd use, like, proper barn eggs and things like that. Sure. And then... And what about, what about sort of general ideas? Do you do things yeah. like fruity ideas yeah, we and do. stuff like that? Yeah, we get... Because uh, at the moment we've got, like, five and six-year-olds. Yeah, halfway. So we yeah. get... 
we get the straws, you know the ones with the little, the bendy ones? Oh, yeah. And we use them like a kebab stick. Oh, fair. And you get soft fruits and you chop them and they can do it themselves, put them on. Sure. And they ended up with them, they were this big. Yeah. You know, and then we've got the tiny little Fantastic, low sugar from yeah. our phrase from to dip in. Lovely, you know? lovely. And we do use the low sugar whips yeah. and put fresh fruit in, introduce different fresh fruits. And they oh, don't really notice the difference, no. do you know? No. no it's they not don't. like they kind of say, oh, I no. want a high fat or something like that. No, they don't notice it. Fantastic. And they, you can yeah. disguise the fruits and things. Sure. We have funny little things as well to get them to actually enjoy cooking. Oh, yeah, we like. say, like, uh, we use flour as a best friend called butter because you've got to rub it into it. It likes being wrapped around by butter, and that's how we get them to rub in mm -hmm. to make pastry. Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. Lovely cook yeah. and all they're standing with their sticky yeah, fingers and, think, and, and stuff Yeah, and they think it, and you shout out, who's flour's best friend, and they'll shout out, butter! Yeah, oh, lovely. And then butter has a best friend called sugar when you cream. Ah, lovely. But they that's like it. That's it, I know that. <laughs> who's cooking crostini in his pan? Oh, yeah. James! <laughs> hey! And you're doing a fantastic job there, my yeah, man. Yeah, it's all coming right? together. Let me just put all these coming the together. Front. And uh, it's quite difficult, this, isn't it? You know, one, two, three, four, five different rings yeah. are busy. We've got something in the oven, too. All sorts of going to get their lovely scones in there, too. Another job here, please. Right, for Jackie. Need a bit I'll come back and see you. Baking in a sec. powder in there. I've I've done it. Sorry. Yeah, I've done Go that. On. Baking powder, a bit of fizzy water. Oh, fizzy water. And uh, yeah, we're going to make a quick batter. There you go, darling. Sorry. A bit of fizzy water. Let's help oh, you before I go. That's it. I've always wanted to do this. Uh, okay. Fizzy water now, in. Chef, tell us about uh, those those turkey balls. Can I do that? Keep going. Yeah, of course right. you can. Bread so crumb. You yeah. uh, bread crumbs and an egg to bind it. Yeah. Right. Um, but I've used thyme. I'm going to put basil in the sauce. But if I put it in now, it's going to turn it black and go bitter. Okay. We're Are poaching you... them off. Yeah. Right. I'm going to turn them in a couple of minutes. Obviously, we can put a little bit of a cover in. So you wouldn't fry them then put them in there. I don't think them. I need to because the egg's the binding agent. Okay. Right. So here we've got the burgers coming along. Okay. Similar mix, but yeah. this way, all I do is push it down like so. These we sear off, obviously, and then put in the oven. Yeah. Put the whole pan in. And we've got the cheese inside there. The cheese is inside. So the idea is you get your little turkey burger. Yeah. Like so. Put your mature cheddar in. Obviously, salt and peppers in here. It doesn't put... have to be turkey. It could be chicken. It could be lamb mint. It could oh, be yeah, beef mint. Yeah, anything yeah, yeah. at all. Definitely. Definitely. And for it's an adult a... taste, you could introduce other cheeses too. You could put um, smoked cheese. It'll be lovely. Yeah. Yeah, mushrooms on top. Mmm, delicious. Right, yeah. Lovely, lovely. Like that. All right, then, seven minutes to go. Let's go back. We're in the Red Tomato Kitchen. Yeah. Chef is frying off his egg first. Now, people say, how do you make egg fried rice? Tell us what you're doing here, Chef. Well, I've dropped two eggs in here and I'm and I'm frying it. It all kind of sets and comes together. Not yet. OK. And then um, the only reason I said not yet is because mm. now I want to get a little bit of colour on the on the eggs. So yeah. the eggs come together. It's now coagulated. It's set. Mm. Now I've put a little bit more olive oil in there, a little touch of this toasted sesame oil. Yeah. And we just let that fry, get a bit of colour on it, and then we'll add all our other ingredients into OK. It. Why do you do it that way round? Is it... Uh... Because when you put egg into rice like that, yeah. it, it gloops it up, coats it, and it all sticks together and starts clumping. Yeah. This way you'll get a nice... Loose separation. OK, and remember earlier on, guys, the chef uh, Tony here was telling you about making that very simple chutney and how the lovely colour of the peppers would come out. Look at that, it's almost become quite blue. If I lift that up now, you can see that. And that's just beginning to come out there, looking lovely. And, of course, if the Beautiful colour of the pepper fruit. isn't coming out, mm. you can add a little bit of tomato ketchup. <laughs> Do you want a bit of ketchup in there, chef? It's in there, chef. It's in there, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, tricks of the trade. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right, what I'm doing, Asia, I've got my rice cooked. Lovely. And, uh, and I'm just going to wash Lovely. it a little bit to loosen it up. Now, Lynn, what about the uh, children's attitude towards uh, sort of healthy food? Uh, uh, is it changed at all, their kind of the way they approach their work or uh, activity, oh, yeah, stuff so like that? They're a lot more healthier. And uh, also, it's a lot less litter in the yard because they're on fruits every morning. That's true, you don't think about that, do you? Because they normally carry around their crisp packets crisps and stuff like that. Crisps and the sweets and the yeah. chocolate, but yeah. no. They're on fruits every morning and uh, it's healthy eating, healthy body, healthy mind. Yeah, sure, so, sure, sure. Yeah. And of course, uh, if they're eating a, a good meal that's sort of, just, you know, a slow releasing, so to speak, yes. it means in the afternoon they're still quite sharp until they fall asleep. Exactly, yeah. yes. Fantastic. What about things like uh, collect the recipes? Do they collect any of the recipes? So, Five minutes. Yes, they do, yes. They, but the boys, especially, they take them home. Uh, one parent said, like, they actually make them when they get home and something to show yeah. at the end of the day. Brilliant. Yeah. What a nice thing to do. 
Uh, see look at that, this nice that's loose gorgeous. rice. You can see yeah, the bits of rice. egg yeah, through there. All the lovely flavours. Nice little, little tip little again. Soy. We always try and point you in the right direction uh, on Ready, Steady, Cook. And, Spiky. you know, once again, you know, very simple things like cooking your egg first and so it's all lovely and separated. It's often when you do it with the kids and it's a bit globby, they say, oh, where's the egg? All right, good tip. It's in there. OK, they're frying off really beautifully. Yes. Mm. Tony, you did mention that rice pudding, so how are you finishing that off? Here. Um, I've added some cream to it. If you yeah. want to get a, um, an orange, and we'll just zest some zest orange. Zest and orange. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. OK. Zest and right, and we're going to put a little bit of zest of orange in there. And yeah. uh, what, what, how do you sweeten that, then? Uh, I'll put some sugar in it, and I'll put yeah. some vanilla in it as well. OK, lovely. OK, uh, about four minutes to go. I think you can put it straight in there, maybe. Can I? Yeah, talk to your chef. I'm sure he'll help can you I'll out. Put yeah, in here. And uh, into briefly, this chef, before I disappear, what's in the pesto? Pesto, that's basil, parsley, um, some of the cashews. Uh, a little bit of bread, garlic, olive oil, salt. That's there it. you go. Eh? Who needs to go out and spend £3 buying a jar of nice pesto? Got a few nuts in your fridge and stuff like that. Remember, guys, all of these recipes are available on CFAX or you can check out our website. That's bbc.co.uk forward slash food. We've got poached uh, meatballs here, turkey meatballs. OK, and uh, the idea of poaching them too, Chef, is that you get a different kind of effect, didn't you? A different finish. Definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, you know, obviously, there's no fat in this, Ollie, because the yeah. turkey's exceptionally lean. All right, then, remember, we've got we keep emphasising this. You know, a lot of people don't pick right. it up, but yep, turkey's got less yeah. fat in it than chicken. So think about that when you go down, you see a bit of a turkey mince or a couple of slices of turkey or something like that. So, it can really, can really mean a difference between having something much more healthy. Definitely. Okay. So basil at the end. OK, we're going to put the fondant in the middle of this one. One. OK, three minutes to go, yeah. OK, scones, yeah. scones are ready. Mm. So, well. so there's your rich tomato sauce. But yeah. you boosted it with a bit of tomato puree as well for a bit of extra Fantastic. Oh, tell us how you've done them then, go on. Oh, well, we made that batter with the flour and the baking powder and the sparkly water. Yeah. And just whisked it up, made it quite thick and then just dip the broccoli in it. Have you ever done that type of thing before? No, no? but it's brilliant. Yeah, I and you can see, yes. and notice how crispy it yeah. is. Normally, it's so many of yeah. us when we make batter, we put egg in it. Yeah, yeah I, egg. I do. OK, yeah. well, that's it. Well, you've got, you've got the album yeah. of the egg, the egg white, and you've got the fat of the yolk too. Right. So that makes it quite kind of... Right. Sticky almost. Yeah. That is, is, you can see that. Look, that's just a Wolfie. perfect crunch. Yes. Crunch, like, a little bit healthier, too. OK. I think I might be able to like right, onto the plate. OK, then. Then. Into the dipping pot. Onto this the one? plate. No, onto the plate for the dipping pot. That's it. Just pile them up there really nice. OK. Mmm. Mm. That's really looking good. Go OK, we've got a couple of minutes to go. What are we doing here, Chef? Right, just blitzing up. This is garlic chicken stock. Um, we put a bit of chive in there as well yeah, for the yeah. onion flavour. Mm -hmm. The stalk of the broccoli, giving it a good old boost. This yeah. is going to go with the cheese scones. Beautiful. This is broccoli soup. Broccoli soup to go Straight with out the company stalk. cheese. All right, then. Very nice indeed. What about those ribbons right, there? Right, onto that flour curry powder. Half and half, please. Straight into the hot oil. That would be Flour brilliant. and curry. Here we are. You've got a bit of... I'll get the curry powder. You get the flour. Yep, All right. Yeah. Oh, dear. It's, it's a busy one, this, isn't it, eh? Uh, oh. is, that, you, is that too much? I oh, know. That's it's, it's, look, darling. Yeah, a bit of that in there. There, yeah, oh, we've got one and a half minutes yeah, to go. Sorry. No, 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 not all of that. That's enough, darling. There you go. Don't worry <laughs> about it. There you go. Look, there you go. And straight in there. There we are. Look. Mm. Yep. Oh, Excellent. Those, right. Some more kitchen off. paper to drain them off. It. Don't worry about it. You're doing a fantastic job. There you go. Right. We're going to get something to get those out in a minute. You've got yeah, some got more it. paper for draining. Got some more paper, got all it. right. Then we're going to get those out. You can use anything you want. You can use that yeah. if you want. Fish those out in a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Any moment now. That music is going to kick in, but already our chefs are preparing the food. They're already starting to get it out. It looks fantastic. Oh, well, Remember, we spent less than five quid here, or just over we'll five quid if you want, to uh, buy yeah, all the ingredients. The chefs are just knocking them out. They really are looking very, very good indeed. We've got rice pudding going on there. We've got a little base of the old pineapple there. They've just been caramelised there. Thin slices of pineapple on top of that. We're just going to put that beautiful, creamy uh, rice pudding. We've got our lamb here. We are just right, in here. Uh, We've got, burgers. sorry, our gammon, gammon steaks that are just finishing off in the oven. Breaded gammon steaks. Mind your back. Very hot there, Lynn. Coming through. OK, 30 seconds. Audience, you are voting for what the chefs did with the ingredients they were given. Think about that. You're, in, you're responsible for their vote. 20 seconds. You're going to help me count down any moment now. Cheese scones, they're looking a bit yum, aren't they? Oh, what about a stir fry? Here, here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Voila! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and what did our 
my chest begin with? Well, I'm about to tell you. James Tatterhand and his bags and turkey meat, sweet potato, broccoli, mature cheddar cheese, a tin of tomatoes and a large onion. What's Tony Tobin? Begun with a couple of gammon steaks, a packet of rice and tinned pineapples, cashew nuts, red pepper and spring onions. Well, just feast your eyes on this little lot, eh? Remember, I said there was only five, just over five pounds the ladies spent. Are you surprised at what the chefs? I'm producing? absolutely amazed. Yeah? Of all that stuff, yeah. That's quite incredible. Good isn't ideas. It? I know, very, very nice ideas. What are you going to call it, chef? Um, I did have a name for it all, oh, but it's uh, scone. It's gone. <laughs> scone. <laughs> you could say class, class dismissed. Yes, yes, class like dismissed. That. Yeah, dismissed. Yeah, that's um, good. You've got a few of them playing around there, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, look at your cheese scone. Here you go. What did you so, do? So we've got mm. the cheese scones. Really that's simple. Delicious. Yeah. Butter, mm. uh, butter in there, some self-raising mm. flour. Cheese on the top, uh, bake them off in the oven, salt mm. and pepper. And the delicious. idea is that they're lovely and light. You just break are. it up and gooey, cooked all the way through. Mm. Brilliant. Dunk them in your soup, which we made from broccoli, garlic, chicken stock, a few chives right. in there for an onion taste as well. Sure. A little bit of cream at the end. Here we've got the tempura of broccoli. Bit there, and the idea is that gobble, give that a good old mix up in your dipping sauce, which mm. is lime juice, coriander, mm. soya, yeah. two parts soya to one part, part mm. oil. So you just give it a little mm. stir up like so. Over here we've got the turkey burgers, great idea for the kiddies. Mm. So there's melted cheese inside, like that. Mm. Go up right, that's it. You've got to get, get one of them. Get one of them in your gob. So we've got the, so we've got the cheese on the inside instead of on the top. We've got some curried parsnip, um, some curried sweet potato, mm. then here, mm. classic like tomato, basil that sauce, delicious. the yam fondant as well, which we okay. cooked down remember, really with butter, thyme <laughs> and garlic as well. OK, so yam fondant. These are excellent. Do you yeah, like sweet yeah, potato. Do. So and do you like some yeah, burgers? So, <laughs> I thought they'd be mouse big enough. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's nice. I don't really like curry, but that's really nice. That's yeah. nice. And it's orange too, love. Hey! hey! <laughs> and I like the broccoli. Hey, there you go. Go. Come on. Alexa, bro come, you've got to come up with a mm. recipe for the children. They don't like the broccoli very much at school, so give her a bit of a recipe. There you go. There's one there. There you go. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Mm -hmm. They're having a cracking time. They are, aren't they? Aren't they? Hey, your turn. Are. Look what Tony's done this for is you excellent. here. Looks delicious. Okay, and never easy to come up with something like, you know, we have a couple of gammon steaks. You've got to be creative, and Tony's done a marvellous job. Go on, pick up your cutlery there, Lynn. Have a go. What are you going to call this, Chef? We're going to call this Don't Let This Teacher Cash You. Making a mistake. Oh, nice one. <laughs> that is delicious. Uh, okay, what did you do with your ingredients? Okay, here? well, what, the first uh, gammon steak, we cut it in half this way, so we have two nice thin steaks there. You're going to cook very quickly. Flour, egg, and breadcrumbs, and we just gently fried those off with some olive oil, finish them off in mm. the oven. Mm. The rice we cooked, we then fried some egg, um, the whole eggs off until they were nice and set, and they started to colour a little bit. And we went in with some pineapple and some pepper and some spring onions, a little bit of garlic, finished it with sesame oil and soy sauce, and we've got that there. We stir fried half of the pepper mm. with some with some some garlic and some spring onions, a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm. Um, here we marinated it in, in the honey, mustard, a little bit of the pineapple juice, yeah. just to help it on its way. We made some pesto there with basil and parsley and garlic and the cashew nuts and some bread. And then with the uh, the other half of the red pepper and the pineapple, we cooked down with uh, vinegar and beautiful. sugar, so it's really nice and sweet. Do you like so that? Oh, that's gorgeous. We caramelised yeah. some pineapple mm. off here and we cooked uh, the, the, the last of the rice. Uh, just cooked it in water first till it's cooked and then mm. double cream, sugar, vanilla, and we put some orange zest just to make sure that she can't come over and nick any. That's mean, that, is mean. <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you. All beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you picked up some ideas here for the children, Excellent. I hope. Yeah. Yeah. That is beautiful. Especially a quick chutney or something like that. That's lovely. They could jar that up and they could keep it in your fridge for a while. Well, ladies and gentlemen. That is gorgeous. Who's our audience been impressed with most? Has it been the green peppers or the red tomatoes? Let's find out. We ask them all to please vote now. And up they go. Wow, this is very close. Whoa. Would you believe there is one more? Green! I'm going dizzy. Are you going a bit dizzy? Well, you started it. There you go. £100 spending money Thank there you. for you. And this is for the school cooking club. 
Lovely. That's yes. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Y
So, okay. lime, honey. I'm going to put a bit of sliced garlic on this as well. OK, why the sliced garlic, Chef? Because it just works. It, you'll find that it works and it's got that lovely aroma to it. We chop it up thinly, put it over the top. Mm. Just get myself a small knife. And then straight into the oven. You just want it so it softens. You don't want it so it all falls apart and goes, you know, all mushy on you. Yeah. That's the idea. I've got a pan on. We can wrap the rest of that in so we can uh, do them off. Mm -hmm. Just give this a quick... Chop quick slice up. So. OK. Sprinkle over the top. Bit of black pepper. I don't really think it needs any salt because we've got um, the lime juice on it and everything. I don't want to confuse it too many flavours. Flash of olive oil. Mmm. And then we get that straight into the oven. OK, tell you the box, don't worry about that. OK. OK, I need to get this into the oven too. Right. So that Loads goes of lovely in. layers. across, Nick and Tony's bread. And this really cooks quite quickly, guys, so don't worry about that. We've got seven minutes to go now, guys. Right, OK. So, we're do a few crews to serve with our baked uh, soya as well. Mm -hmm. So, a char grill pan. Get OK, this is all the looking side. good. Yep. OK. Another pan on for you. A few sesame seeds around here, Yeah, that would be beautiful. That'd stick one okay, for you. Let me know. Yeah. There you are. Well, there get, get a few of those. And then I'll start on with the vegetables. There you go. Around the edge there. All right. Lovely. So that's going to take about three minutes to bake off, like you said, so it's golden. OK, and over here you want them wrapped in the... Uh, some of the tofu wrapped in here. Yeah, with time, please. Okay. I've got yourself a pan on, a non-stick pan that we're using as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do... Start off with a curry base, going to get some onion on there. So the idea of the edge, you just like, that's the binding, because I... Well, it, it, it seals it well. Obviously, remember, we're going to put something in there that's, li well, got a bit of liquid in it, obviously, because I'm going to do, like, a curry to it, so I want to finish it with yoghurt and stuff like that. The last thing you want is for everything to seep through or to fall apart on you. OK, lovely. Six minutes to go. Let's right. uh, think about this. We'll literally just sort of pop that in there. And just one in square, Chef, you don't mind if it's not... Oh, not at all, yeah. You, you go with the shape of it. Let's, okay. uh, let's wrap it up. A bit of okay. thyme and black pepper and that. And it's just another great little flavour that really boosts it. Time works really well. OK, lovely. Uh, how are you getting on down there, Tone? I'm all right, actually, thank you. You? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you all right, Ains? A bit of chilli too in there, Chef? Yes, that would spice up it. Lovely. OK. I'm going to grab a lovely. few of these peanuts, put them over the top. A few dried chillies going in there too. OK, just to show you uh, different ways of using that up. OK, let's just fold those in, I think. So I'm going to just trim out the edge, the edge of that corner, so there's not too much pastry there. Okay, that's what we mean about just trimming out the edge. A little bit like when you're doing something like a, uh, a Wellington or something like that. You don't want too much pastry in there. All right. So oh, just you wrap Wellingtons. Yeah. What about Wellingtons? You wrap Wellington boots. You wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, bit of a lame the, joke there, oh, isn't no, it? No, it was a bit of a lame one. Don't worry, I'm going to make this even smaller now. Halfway now, guys. So, you've got a cooking question. Tone, perhaps you could answer this. I'll try. Whilst you're doing that. Um, this is from Helen Anderson from York. Good afternoon to you, Helen. She says, I love olives, but normally only eat them as a snack. I would like to learn to cook with them. Can you recommend any recipes I could try them in? Yeah, <clears> stick <throat> them in some bread. You know, make a, a, a basic bread dough. Yeah. And then whack a load of olives in there, knead them in there. Put it into it, you can actually cook it in a frying pan that can go in the oven, squeeze it in, push all your fingers into it so you get like that focaccia, the way the focaccia looks. Some olive oil on the top, lots of coarse salt, pepper and bake it off. Fantastic olive bread. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. What about uh, you then, uh, James? Right, yeah. about olives. Yeah, olives, get some nice uh, big fat olives. Um, chop them up, obviously you're going to pit them as well. Mm -hmm. Whack into that a bit of garlic and some fresh dill and zest of a uh, lime. Then get a whole um, fish um, that's been scaled. Yeah. School the outside of the fish, get that mixture and push it into the incisions that you make on both sides. Yeah. And as you cook it in the oven, it takes about 35 minutes, a whole uh -huh. like two and a half pound bass, for example. Yeah. You get this, you get this beautiful um, garlic olive taste cooks all the way through. And no salt content because the olives are already salty. Oh, right, right, right. And so, what about favourite olives, boys? Because there's so many different varieties out there. Do you have favourites? Yeah, I like the black uh, Provencal, uh, the, the little purple Provencal olives, and also like those black ones that are cracked over cumin. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're lovely. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And uh, I've got to say, um, not only can you sort of add olives to, you know, use them as a snack naturally, because that's what you do, but what about throwing them in some casseroles or something like that? When you make a nice tomato sauce, don't forget, we always do pizzas on the programme. Nice, just to slice a few up and sort of scatter them around, or, you know, that type of thing. And, of course, the traditional tapenade, if you can pick up some olives a little bit cheap, you know, sometimes when they're getting a, a little bit sort of dried out in the shop, you can all buy them, take them home, 
and make a nice tapenade. Very good indeed. OK, about three minutes to go now, gentlemen. All right, cool. Mm, now, what about that stir-fry, chef? Tell us a bit about that. Right, what we've got in here, I've just uh, chopped the vegetables up. Um, obviously, the carrot's been chopped finer because the carrot's going to take the longest to cook out, right? OK, yeah. You don't want plastic bits falling off your pepper mill like that, so <laughs> we're just going to put that down there. And uh, basically, the veg, um, the quickest one's going to be the monster. So I've just want to cut it all the same size, but the carrot thinner. A few spice nuts, yeah? Definitely. Let's get it on. And also, I've got a blitzer down here, Ains. We yeah. can sp sprinkle a crust on it over the top. OK, yeah, we'll make a little bit more of so that. So if you, if you spice them, and then mm. we, cr we give them a little whiz after, right, we can drop it over the top. Up. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's definitely. spice all these nuts up then. Cool. OK, nice way. If you've got any plain peanuts, you can just spice them up. A little bit of oil to start with, and just hit them with some spices, all right? This time, just a, uh, what would you like? A little bit of a... Uh, you got, um, if you can give me some chilli flake in there. I will, I'll put a few, few cumin seeds in and there. And also cinnamon works wonderfully well. Cinnamon is uh, going in. We've got a couple of minutes to go. Let's think about this. OK. Bit of curry paste too going in there. All right, lovely. Right. Uh -huh. So, first things chili first. Curry paste. You got the curry out here somewhere, uh, you, Chef? Curry was kicking around. I did have it. Yeah, uh, chilli flakes we've got. OK, if not, I'll grab some from uh, our chef. OK, there you go. Really starting to come together now. And not only that, they've got the natural oils. Now, what about that batter, Chef? Are you going to be in time with that? What? Tone? Batter's done, mate. We're batter's cooking. done. Well, you've got one and a half minutes to knock it out. Let's get yep, this done. That's, we're there, there we're you there, go. A little bit of curry there. spice going into our nuts. OK, Chef, you want a few of these blitz down too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. I'm just going to okay. finish off these on yeah. the charcoal pan, get a bit of colour for it. Let that cheese get really hot. OK, I'll get some mint and parsley to finish off some of them that we can serve separately. Beautiful. Don't need the rest of that uh, tofu there. Let's just tidy up as we go along. OK, time's going to start kicking in any second yeah. now, guys. OK, oh. there we are, one minute to go. Uh, one minute, and our chefs have got to get this out. Ladies and gentlemen, we all try and do this. Don't forget, we're doing this really against the time here. All right, then, a bit of uh, flat-leaf parsley. How about a little bit of mint going in there, chef? Mint would be lovely, Ains. Just finish that off. 45 yeah. seconds to go. Let's blitz those up there. OK, peanuts are done. There you go. Lovely. OK, a bit of fresh mint, coriander and flat-leaf parsley. If you've got any of those herbs, don't leave them on your shelf. Use them up, all right? There you go. Beautiful, Ains. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, where, where, uh, where are we going to put them, Chef? Right, uh, a few on the top of the uh, curry, please, and I've okay. got some yoghurt to what go on you... top. All right, then, just a little bit of... There you go. All right, then, there we are. Great. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Well done, my man. Well done, Tony. Thank you. It's always that last minute rush, isn't it, when then someone says 30 seconds. Do you panic? Um, yes, I do, actually. <laughs> yeah. I've got to get because it out. Because you're running around and thinking, oh, quick, I've got to do it. <laughs> so, what are you going to call it, Chef? Well, I know it's corny, but you'd pee nuts not to like this lot. That's all right. It's quite good, that one. OK, what did you do with your ingredients? We got the nuts. Obviously, you spiced them up, mm. added a bit of colour to them and everything. Mm. And into this, uh, we baked off the tofu, but with um, zest of lime, juice of lime and honey. You get a kind of sweet and sour thing going on there. Mm -hmm. um, bit of rustic bread, whack it in there, scrape it on the bread and eat it. Perfect. Really mm. good, nibbly food. We've got the phyllo basket, and into mm. that we've got the curried vegetables, which mm. is the garlic, the onion, the uh, baby corn, the uh, green beans as well and the carrots. Finished mm. it off with yoghurt, more spiced nuts on top. And you get that soggy bottom but the crunchy sides, that's mm. the idea. Mm. Then in here, if we cut these open, this is the ones with thyme and you put some uh, chilli in there as well, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So as you can see, it's nice and soft, warm through as well. Mm. Great little nibbly bite things. Great, you know, even with a dip as well with the carrots and stuff. And Tony's tempura. With, and you did mm. uh, the ginger, didn't you, Tony, with the dipping? Ginger, chilli, garlic, white wine vinegar and sugar. Ball down, blitz it up and I finished it with some shredded ginger, ginger just because I could. Beautiful. Because he could, ladies and gentlemen. And you could check out our website. That's bbc.co.uk forward slash food for all the recipes the chefs mm. did on the programme today. Mm. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon on Ready, Steady, Cook. Say bye-bye, guys. Bye.